Another thing that we do here is we love some black love. And so I'm really upset about this next story, y'all. After almost five years of marriage, Eva Marcel has reportedly filed for divorce from her husband, Michael Sterling. According to reports, Eva cited in court documents that the marriage was broken and there are no prospects of reconciliation. But listen, I like what Mike did. He stepped up and he released a statement to Jasmine Brand and he wrote, I'm not going to lose my wife. I'm going to fight for her with every fiber in my being. Oh, Claudia, you've worked with Eva. Does this news surprise you after like spreading your whole relationship on reality TV? Well, I never got to work with her, but she was on the show after me. But I am a fan of hers. We've hung oh. out. We have dinner. We've talked. We've definitely kiki. Um, I was, I, I, I don't know. I mean, five years, she did five years with him. He ran for office. He didn't win. I don't know what the reason could be. I think Q might know because he'd be having the inside. <laughs> but I think <laughs> look, I was happy for her because after Kevin McCall and that disastrous relationship, he came for me on social media because I called him out for his abusive behavior. Remember he was in the restaurant trying to get someone yeah. to pay for his food. Anyways, Eva, then she she leveled up and she got with the politician. I thought they were a nice couple. You know, I hate to see marriages break, especially two kids. Q, go ahead. Uh, I, you're no smiling, Q. Can, what, what's the tea? No good you? can come out of my mouth right now. <laughs> no, believe it or not, I don't have no tea on uh, 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 Eva and, and Michael. But let me tell you something. Is it me or like this would be one hell of a season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? You got Cynthia with her divorce mess. You got Drew and 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 Ralph with their divorce. Oh, now you got Eva with her divorce. I mean, this literally would be the season of divorce. You know what I'm saying? And I'm wondering, is there a housewives boogeyman over there that's causing people relationships? Because <laughs> it seems like everybody who stepped foot over there can't keep their husband. Kim, your husband gone. Cynthia, husband gone. Drew, husband gone. Eva, husband gone. Party of husband never came. <laughs> hold, on, hold 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 on, Negro. I was married before housewives. <laughs> for how long? Two months. You were married for two months. Al, let's not talk about marriage. No, I'm not. This, not shade. Shade. this is not shade. I'm just asking. It's not it don't shade. Don't matter. It don't matter. We was we we said I do. That's all. Well, you need on, on a serious note, Claudia, do you think though? Seriously, you just do you think taking your relationship on television could lead to a breakup? Like, of course, it's never good. Me and KJ were great before we went on a couples retreat. Right. And and we were like, OK, we're going to talk and act like our sex life ain't that great. And then we did it. And then, you know what? Like life imitated art. It does hurt mm. your relationship. First of all, people going to hit you up. They're going to put things in your head. Right. They're going to tell you, oh, I would never treat you like that. Or you I can't believe you treat. And then, you know, the truth. But then you start to doubt it and be like, maybe I should have someone else. We were perfectly mm. fine before we went on couples retreat. We were actually happy. You know what I mean? And I feel like a lot of people, no, we're still the best of friends. Like, he, listen, forever. He's my best friend, even now, even as a friend. But I say reality TV, we put ourselves out there. Right. All these trolls comment. And at first you'd be like, whatever, whatever, whatever. But maybe you're having a bad week that week. And then something hits a nerve that actually rings mm -hmm. a little bit true. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you can't stop thinking about it. Imagine you have 1 million followers. And half of them tell Leaning you in, something right. that they lean in. Right. We cannot pretend that we're superhuman and it doesn't affect us. It does. And y'all need to think about that when you put those mean comments out there. Seriously. <sighs> no more reality TV breakups. I can't take it, y'all. But anyway.